Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast where digital discussions, the worlds of sports, TV, social media, pop culture, film, everything really. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miliotis. On Twitter, I go as PD Beats. It's a special every year. We like to do some NHL draft content on the show. We love to interview players, and we are going to be starting that soon because we're going to snap our fingers, and the NHL draft will be here, and many players are excited for the possibility of having their names called up and being one step closer to their dream and i'm speaking to two players that you are familiar to pop turn i guess they've both been on the show before on for one-on-ones but uh we have them both back we have a defenseman from sweden we have philip broberg and we have a forward from moscow russia igor afanasiev gentlemen welcome back to the show thank, thank you thank you no problem start off you guys had a pretty uh, busy week at the combine in buffalo philip how was that for you how was the experience yeah, it was all good. Like uh, I had a busy week there, but uh, you just trying to take it all in and just have fun. Igor, did you like it? That was a good experience. You said you also met a lot of people, but also the physical testing was fun for you as well, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, but uh, physical testing was not that fun. But uh, meeting, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Definitely, it was like kind of first step. You know, just meeting with the teams and stuff with general managers. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Was it nervous in the beginning for you guys to get in there? I mean, you know, a lot of people were talking before this about, you know, you guys being in kind of the projected to the first round of the NHL draft. But, like, how were you guys able to start with Philip? How were you able to kind of just block that out and just go to work and go in and do what you had to do with the combine? Yeah, you just got to go in and to the meeting and just be honest and be the person you are. Uh, and that's the test. You just got to do your best, basically, uh, and do uh, as many chins and pull-ups you can, basically. Igor is kind of same. You just blocked it yeah, up. Yeah, so nah, like you said uh, about the meetings. If I was nervous, like first first meeting I had uh, with Carolina, man, I was I was dripping. I was sweating. <laughs> like I was sitting there like ten minutes before, and I just like first meeting I was like I was really nervous. But after that, I kind of kind of went pretty smooth. So. Mm -hmm. And Philip, you said in a couple of interviews you had twenty six meetings with teams. Yeah. That was busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of meeting, but uh, like the first couple of meetings was nervous, but in the, like like you said, um, it got easier as uh, as more meetings you had. Now, did anyone meet with Washington Capitals? Uh, I just had the test with them, not not the actual interview. So, did you meet with the Capitals? Yeah, I did. So last year they brought a, they had a question about a bus. Did they bring that question back this year? No, they did not. Okay, because apparently but, they were asking it about a bus, and it was like, "What direction is it going?" <laughs> a lot of players were like, yeah. "I don't know how to ask this." I heard, I heard about that. Yeah, you gotta like watch where's the entrance at, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> what were what were some were there, were there some questions that you were kind of surprised about, Phil? Were there like some non hockey questions in the meetings? No, not really. I had uh, mo most of the meetings was actually pretty easy and just about my hockey and just saying uh, hello basically uh, so uh, i think it was good meetings with so all the teams there were no questions about like video games or anything yeah of course they will ask that like yeah, i know <laughs> a lot of people ask that but uh, like i said you just gotta try to be honest We'll start with Igor on this one. I want to know, I mean, you guys both had pretty eventful years. I mean, it's like, it, it, and, and it was it was one of those things where it was a statement year for both of you guys because it was your NHL draft year. That was in the back of your head since day one. And you both had successful campaigns. Igor, you know, you almost tripled the amount of points that you had in like the last couple of years. And, you know, um, Philip. You had a, like a big year playing in the World Juniors and the U18s, just having that big year. So we'll start with Igor. Talk a little bit about some of the kind of highlights of the year for you and how you can kind of work, use that for ne next season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I knew that this season is very important for me. Like, I just had a hard work in summer and uh, I pushed myself to the limits. And, uh, you know, in the season we have ups and downs, but... Uh, in total, we went to the final conference. Too bad we lost because we were so good as a team. But, uh, I mean, 
this season was a progress for me, definitely. And I'm looking forward for the draft. You know, it's a very exciting time now. So, mm -hmm, Absolutely. And, Philip, all those yeah. international tournaments, you had you had an opportunity to play in those, which was a big, big step in your career. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we had a good uh, team and a good uh, tournament in the U18 Worlds uh, in Sweden. Uh, that we, uh, yeah, we won the tournament, so that was a really fun time for us uh, as a team and as for me, for sure. And playing in front of a home crowd, I mean, that must have been one of the coolest things. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a memory for life, for sure, to play at, uh, to, take, to take the goal uh, at home, uh, home field. So that was awesome, for sure. That's pretty cool, yeah. It, was, it is amazing. Um, Igor, what were some, what, was there anyone this year, whether it was a teammate or someone that you met that gave you some advice in the beginning of the year or or throughout the year that like kind of stuck with you that was something that like you were like wow like this is good advice specifically on your kind of route to the nhl draft does anything specifically come to mind uh you know like uh one time condolik said uh if you know condolik he's drafted to uh uh Predators. he's been on he's, he's been on the yeah. show he's been on the oh, show really? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> last year like i was all like best and stuff because I wasn't playing a lot of, lot of stuff but uh, he told me like man just work, hard work in the summer and uh, this season is going to be yours and like here we go you know just what he said like no, so, uh, yeah I was really I kind of remember that and when when we end up the season and I had such a good of a season so I just want to say thanks to him because I wasn't worried much so Shout out to Condoleezza. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little uh, quick shout out to him. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Philip, uh, has there been anyone that's given you some advice? I think it would be my uh, pro team coach in AIK for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. That taught me how to play against pro soldiers. So uh, probably him to adjust my game to the pro level. Was that kind of? An, I mean, it's it's sure. interesting, uh, right? With the uh, use of sport. Yeah, but I find it, I find that interesting. What? That's an interesting dynamic because you're going in very young to play pro. How do you kind of get set for that? Yeah, I think it's more mental thing uh, for most of guys uh, to go in and uh, just play a game and don't don't think that they are so much bigger, uh, stronger, more uh, older than you. And just play your game and play easy. Uh, Makes the game easy. Uh, yeah. So you just gotta try to do that. I've, I've never asked this question before, but I'm curious because you know we all we all love hockey, and it's one of the like it's the greatest sport on the planet. One can make an argument. I just wanted to know, like, what are specific things you guys like about the game? Is it the speed? Is it the intensity? Is it the the the, the fact that it's a skilled game? Like Igor, what do you like the most about playing hockey? Is there one thing you could choose? I think probably like compete level, like and just winning. You know, it's a, it's all about that. Like hockey is all about winning, and uh, like I hate losing personally. So like I think the compete level, just how the guys in each league just just want to win, just strive for greatness. You know, mm -hmm. I I just think it's all about that. So. What do you think, Philip? Something similar to that, or? Yeah, like like you said, like uh, you're always trying to win, and in hockey you, you compete for every, every single space on the ice. Uh, so uh, for sure, the compete is why you play and uh, why you want to win all the time. No, absolutely. Is there also some is? But do you also find that because I'm t I'm speaking to both two players right now, a defenseman and a forward that. Um, have a lot of speed can kind of like be really kind of aggressive and skate is that safe to say that hockey is becoming just like overall like a speed game yeah like like it's getting faster all the time uh, in the in NHL you can see that uh, and the game is faster with the puck but I don't think you can skate the puck you need to be able to pass it as well because obviously your passing is faster than your skating Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred, a hundred percent. Like Philip said, I think it's all about making like quick decisions right now in hockey. Just you know, like your head's got to be always up, and uh, you just got to pass the puck all the time. So, absolutely. And, and and Igor, I remember we talked about it when you came out with with uh, Michael. Um, you like skating is something you were working on a little bit too at one point, right? Yeah, definitely. Because like big body, you know, it's always kind of for big guys. It's always a little late, but mm -hmm. uh, no, that's something I worked 
a lot last summer and this summer too. I'm putting a lot of work in, so we just got to be proven on that one. Mm -hmm, absolutely. If you guys were able to give yourselves a scouting report, like I'm giving you an opportunity right now to give yourself a scouting report. Like, Philip, why should an NHL team draft you? Like, what are you going to bring to the table for an NHL team? Uh, I'll bring a two-way defensive play that can play in all situations, uh, play on both box play and power play. Um, and a guy who always want to win at, uh, at any cost, for Absolutely. sure. Igor, what about you? Why should people yeah, draft you? Yeah, here? so I think uh, in total, I'm just a good character in the locker room, like off the ice, on the ice. And uh, I'm power forward 200 foot. I think each team need, needs that kind of player with a good shot, you know, just good compete level in total. Mm -hmm. People have been comparing you to Evgeny Malkin. What do you think about that comparison? Yeah, yeah. no, I mean... It makes sense he's, though, right? He's Yeah, he's Russian. He's uh, kind of power forward, you know can pass the puck and shoot pretty well. And, uh, but I think, I mean, I have a long way to, to Evgeny, no doubt, because he's, he's in Pittsburgh period. He have three Stanley Cups, so mm -hmm. it's a long way. And, Philip, you're a big fan of Victor Hedman. Do you still think that he's kind of the defenseman that you kind of look up to? Yeah, yeah, he still is, for sure. Because he just has – he plays that big man's game, but he can make a good play in the corners too, right? Yeah, like like he's a guy that can play in all situations in all zones as well. Uh, that you can have on power play and box play. So that's the guy that I've looked up to and a guy that I like to compare my game to as well. No, absolutely. Well, guys, we'll we'll wrap up, but uh, before we do, I just want to ask one more question and just kind of see, um, you know. The NHL, it's an interesting situation because you're both kind of starting your careers, you know, June 21st, you're going to have the opportunity to have your names called up and you start the journey. You guys are young guys and you look up to a lot of players, but at the same time, because, you know, the elite, like the World Juniors and all these big tournaments and Igor, these leagues like the USHL that you play in have a lot of fan base because of social media, there's a lot of younger players that kind of look up to you guys as well so you guys are in an interesting spot because you guys are like looking up after like you're looking up to role models like in the nhl but you guys are also role models philip have you ever thought about that a little bit yeah for sure like hearing uh, when i played in for aik in sweden uh it's a famous team for sure in, in all all sweden so we have a lot of fans around the world, so for sure we have recognized that uh, throughout the year as well. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Igor, have you thought about that, though? It's an interesting situation. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, each year, is you getting, like, you getting better and better and uh, better in hockey. And just, I, I mean, I think you just got to be yourself. You just got to be a good character. You just got to be an example mm -hmm. for all the people and the fans and the young guys because it's like I'm trying, like, my role model is, like, Matthews, for example, right? And I'm trying just to take everything from him. That same, you just got to be yourself. Just got to be a character that guys can follow. So. Very cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. And I wish you both all the best at the NHL draft. Um, where could people follow you on social media, Philip? Where are the handles like on Instagram? Where could they keep up with everything? Uh, Philip Roberg with the 2G uh, at the end. Very cool. Sure. And Igor, what about you? Afanasi of 11. Cool. You guys yeah. should. You guys should link. Like, link in there. Like <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. guys. You guys should link up at the NHL draft, guys. The Europe connection. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So seriously, all the yeah. best. Well, this has been Pop Turnip. youtubecom slash Pop Turnip for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Igor Fanasiev, Philip Broberg, and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.